Hey, what up? Hey, this is Mike D. You're checking out part six of my campaign as Norway. I believe it's part six, whatever. Pretty sure. You get the point, though. Norway, it's going to be fun. Last episode, we conquered some new territory. The Danish still don't like us, so we'll have to think about getting rid of them pretty soon. As soon as we can, like we've been trying. Now, the Danish could be very good and could easily kill us here, but our tactics are overcoming them because the AI is not that smart. I'm pretty sure we built all we can. Let's check though, it's usually cheap stuff. We can't do every expensive thing that we want to. And a lot of the buildings don't serve any purpose. Or they serve a reduced purpose because we can't recruit troops from them normally. I will see you, my lord. But anyway, yeah, I guess we'll end the turn. We're about 10 turns in, I think. Send emissary to the Holy Roman Empire. Rewarded with military units. That's what I like to hear. The one thing I can't easily acquire. It's not like money. Or castles. Okay, the Mongols are at war with Poland. These two are allies, so... They may say that now, but... The situation could easily change, you know? Like, I'll attack the Holy Roman Empire... The Teutonic Order says, fuck it, we're not helping anymore. That's pretty much how it'll go. You retrained them. Got a few units back. So even though we couldn't... Yeah, we could have hired the mercenaries. Let's recruit a spy here. Retraining them is pretty good. And it was cheap. And money is a resource we have anyway if we need to spend it. Okay, this, this might be what we want. They have a large force right here. I'm pretty sure that we can defeat them right now. And we can maybe even save this force. But we have... We have the ability to take Den Hamburg too. It's about committing our catapult to one place. The place taking an educated guess where we'll need it the most. Is it here or here? Now, I believe that I can do this draw most of the time. Now, I won't do it every time. I mean, it won't succeed every time. So here's what we're gonna do. Fuck, I forgot to use this ship to take them last turn, but it'll still work this turn. So I'm pretty sure we can still attack. Now that will probably work on its own. He's all alone, so... We don't even need to attack him at all. We could attack this army, but we'd be better just taking Hamburg because it's weaker than that force. We can't do it with the catapult though. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna do something pretty crazy. Well, we'll send our diplomat. I don't think he'll do much for us right now. We're gonna build a fort. We're gonna build a fort and leave behind our peasants and see if it'll keep them out. Cannot construct it right here. I can build it here though. Put our peasants there. These two will be fine. If they want to come out, they can. They might even win. But I'll take my chances. Now our catapult is basically almost protected, even though it's not on the ship, and that's our main goal. We can't really build enough siege equipment right now, 
and they'll probably sally out anyway. So next turn, we're going to need a capital. Here, we'll keep the blockade, but now, the real battle. This is going to be a sally out. I'm not going to do anything there. These two are fine. We'll get reinforcements some other time. Can we defeat King Charles and the Catapult? And King Captain Scabby? They have some cavalry. It's going to be best if we take on King Charles first. A night attack's not really going to work because we don't have a catapult here. So we want to focus on the draw opportunity. Let's see how this goes. Be coming from the north, I think. So we try and position like right here and hope that that's the right spot. If it's not, we'll try our best to take some defensive maneuvers with our infantry. Let's put our crossbows here, put our infantry here. He will be right the on the flank. The reinforcements. the reinforcements are right behind us, okay? So this is a decent spot. All we have to do is just corner them right here. We're not going to move in formation. We're just going to move well, just there. Really, we only need to attack. Let's charge. We charge with our general and harass them. And force this other army to run and assist. Don't skirmish. Don't want fire arrows, okay. Shoot the general's bodyguard. Our general tries to harass. Okay, the peasants too. The peasants try and harass that general's bodyguard. Everyone else can kinda stay back and guard the archers. This catapult's firing. We need to attack it. Got a good shot at them. This charge will do something. Get back. They're not charging anymore. The advantage is kind of gone away a little. Their catapult's not firing. We can flank them with our general. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Don't want our general to die just yet. Peasants, take them off. Okay, Spearman, we need you too. And this catapult's out of commission, which is good, so General, take them out. Oh, actually, we might not need the Spearman, so just hold for a moment. Catapults are pretty much done. Okay. The peasants are done, but they're they're steady. For some reason, they're they're ready to fight. The way we deployed them is just perfect, I guess. They'll fight to the death. They're they're doing their their duty. Okay, now you guys get after them. We've got this. They don't know what to do. You know, slow down. Let them just get shot. They don't have enough. Okay, now we're getting shot. Move into position. I got a little carried away. Take on their units. Forgot about the other army. Just move into position, guys. Use the windmill as cover or something. Use the hill. Let's use this defensive position. We need to set up proper. 
run. They're using the catapult. We killed. I'm pretty sure we killed enough of that army. So the drought is probably still good. And the strength for both armies is about even. It's close enough to where I can't underestimate my opponent. And I wouldn't want to anyway, because I'm a smarter player than that. Let's hit their crossbows. They're they're too close. I don't like this. Kick it back. Can't just we can't let our general die. Okay, that was not a bad shot. It's going to loose formation. He's gonna need to come back. All these guys need to be on guard mode. Let the archers get charged a little bit. Get at them. Now we gotta flank them. Rally. This is looking pretty good though. I think we'll win. Let's see if we can try and take out that trebuchet. It's really giving us a headache. Or at least something to think about. Don't want our most important units to get hit. Because it just it destroys them. But they've got a cavalry. We can't get hit by that either. So it makes it tough to charge. Need to continue to hold a defensive position. Ooh, that was bad. Okay, we, we routed some of their units. Spearman, yeah, defeat their cavalry, their, their cavalry's running, okay, this is good, defeat their, their cavalry and we pretty much got this, some of them are still good though, okay, he's in some danger, this is kind of bad, get out of there, See if you can break this unit and keep running them down. Let's move our guys up. See if we can take on these Norse war clerics. I think we can. Get to this trebuchet. It's really messing with us. Crap. There's too much danger. I don't know. Getting a lot of kills, but I don't know. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Okay. They're wavering. This is looking good. They're too tired to fend us off, I think. That catapult broke the charge, but it's also giving us some cover. So that's good. Our men are winning the battle. They're tiring themselves out. They're not able to shoot. They're running away, tiring themselves out. We can take on their strongest cavalry with our infantry. So they're not playing their hand pretty well. Nice. Rally. Come on, go through. Just push. Cut him up. Be careful. We're winning. It's just a trebuchet. These guys have nothing. Break the war clerics. Broke these guys up enough, I think. Get these routing units. Send them against the trebuchet. Okay, 22 of them charged our archers and stuff, but it's still not that bad. 
Holy crap, we're doing a lot here. We're not gonna be able to charge that, but... You know? We're still getting a lot. Even if we lose our general, we'll probably Only still win the battle. The enemy force remains. We've just taken too many of them out for them to meaningfully recover and defend. I just don't want too many of them to escape the battle, that's all. What about our massive infantry? It's been fine. The archers keep getting charged and they keep breaking everything that comes near them. This is probably the end for our general though, unless we can just do something. We have two left. These clerics I think are done. But we can't charge any of the routing units down. Let's see what we can do. We have two guys. I don't think this is enough to take it this turn. But we'll try. Damn it, we'll try. Wow. We somehow got some cavalry too. But damn, I don't think we have a chance. get as much as we can. Can't get everything. Let's see. How did our general live? That's the real question. I didn't think he was gonna. What's over here? <laughs> the mobs of them. We did good. only two of them there's not so much you can do but I think we did a great job <laughs> this is just so poor all right yep I'm calling it this is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor we didn't get rid of the entire army we didn't draw them out <laughs> Perhaps, perhaps we can just ransom them and make some money anyway. Except that it, ah, now we gotta fight the troops. Yeah, they're all trapped in there though, we can just starve them out. We're playing this a different way to what a legend might play, never ransoming, but you know. They're too weak to fight us again, so I think it was perfect time to do it. Make some money to get us through one end, end turn, I mean. They can't really send kings fan now. On to slay siege. Yeah. Alright, so... You could probably send him too. I don't think any rebels are gonna fuck with us. This is fine. Now Magnus over here. We don't have an army for us to attack. But that's okay. Get a good look at this. We're playing very aggressively. We built a fort in their territory, okay? We built a fort in Danish territory. That's a very aggressive maneuver. Now, this is good, but I think this is worth it. I 
I didn't know why I didn't notice that merchant thing before, but I don't focus on merchants, so that might be it. Okay, yeah, we built everything. Hey, bros. I'll see about getting rid of those rebels to get rid of that devastation. Hire this. troops. I think we can do this. My lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Let's see. Just have them chase us around. Their general. I can't see, it, really. But even without killing the general, we can still kill some of their weaker units like archers and whatnot. Killing the general is just the best thing. chases some more. Capture these Viking Raiders. Don't charge them yet. Okay, we need to get their archers now. Oh, crap, took too much damage. Yeah, this is... Maybe we didn't have enough. I think we did though, it's just our unit was weak. Nah. Maybe we'll retreat. They had like half of what they had before. Yeah, fuck it, I don't know. Let's think about this one. Get them to skirmish or something, maybe. Magnus is a young kid, he was just hired or whatever. Just came into the family, came of age. Okay. Let's charge these archers. We're pushing through pretty well. They're shooting some of their own guys. We still have five, and we defeated that whole unit. We're doing pretty well. They have spears though. And peasants. That's not so good. Okay, just pull it through. We have four. I know we're done. Yeah. Alright, just get the fuck out of here. Oh, 
Well, maybe we can take these peasants with us. Screw it. Let's do or die. The enemy are badly Our foolish yeah, he's dead. Alright. Whatever. Magnus is gone. We're gonna have to honor him, but... You know. We'll win the next time. I can't believe these rebels keep beating us. But we keep sending one general. So happens. Let's check out the family tree. Sorry, Magnus, you know. Everyone else is doing a little better. They've been around longer, too. They got experience. We shall mourn him, but we have nine regions. We'll get some new generals. <sighs> that sucks. Yeah, it's not that bad. We'll save some money. What else can we do? Do not hold them. If it is a fight, face me in the where to an honor to serve, my lord. You should not relate. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna do right now. Honor to serve, my lord. Can move these guys back after. Let's see. Maybe we'll take on those rebels. Finally. I will see King's fan to justice in an honest battle. Your people's battle will resolve. Yes. An honor to serve, my lord. Alright. Let's let's fight them. Let's do this. Prince of Fleety. Okay. Now there is a chance that we can win this, okay? It will require some discipline, but it's possible. Let's give it a shot. We need to try and shoot the general side aisle. First thing, move in. Alright, get a shot off. You can move in too. Don't have any time to waste. You wanna charge the general, but get him to attack side on. Can't skirmish. And we wanna shoot the general in the back. We can hopefully use our spear militia to hold them in place with a skill trim if we need to. And not give up too much to their infantry. The infantry will probably do too well against spears. The infantry will try and defend the general, so this charge will work. Because we kill lots of them. And the general doesn't really get involved. We're still fresh, so we can retreat pretty well. Now we've got to convince them to attack Sidon. They're turning around, which is letting us shoot at them. So now, we're gonna have to try and charge them again. Skiltrum. Charge them side on. Now we can still shoot at them, and we can keep cycle charging them. The infantry has to hold for a little bit, but damn it, they can. Come on. The problem is the axes got in instead of the the general's bodyguard like we wanted. Spear militia aren't doing their job properly because we didn't set them up. We just have to hope our archers can do pretty well, so we'll effectively move around. Put these on guard mode. Same with you. Okay, now we attack and then run away. Now let's see if we can charge these Huskarls or these Viking Raiders. Because we don't want to try and fight that whole general by ourselves. Or with just one unit. We want to shoot out. Because that's our only other plan. Since we couldn't hit him with spearmen. Now let's, let's get out of the way. Keep shooting him. He's not even moving. He's not even knowing what to do. We got around him. He'll trap us for a minute, but our spearmen are still fighting. 
Our archers are still fighting too, but we can't allow ourselves to get trapped. But we use the illusion that we're trapped. He's coming for our archers, that's bad. Might not be able to win this anymore. We made a mistake, we left him vulnerable. Ah, crap. Let's see if they can do enough. I think they can. Let's try and charge him in the rear or something. That's shit. We shouldn't have let our archers get charged like that. We fucked some of them up, though. Let's just see if we can rescue them. I don't think this is gonna work. We didn't do it proper. We had a chance, we just didn't execute. Alright, let's... Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to withdraw. Alright, yeah, get out of here. Ah, we did not win. We were outnumbered. We gave it a shot. That would have been impressive, but still. Okay. Let's see this. We can win this with our reinforcements. We can definitely win this. I don't know why they would split up like that. They must be low on units, so they need the general to defend their town. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna have to abandon our catapults and rely strictly on the reinforcements. So, yeah, get into battle. These catapults aren't going to do much, so... You know what, maybe we could use them. Yeah, let's just keep them in battle for now. Might as well, if we could get a shot or two, that'd be fine. I wouldn't complain about it, but we need to be able to still run away. Don't skirmish with these guys. This is an effective way to use peasants, because, you know, if they get shot, it's not that bad compared to losing something else. Let's try and, let's try and use our capital, if we can. Just for our trap. Hit him pretty well. Now he can come out. They don't know what they're in for. Bad thing is we're shooting onto their shields, but they're turning a little bit. Let's see if we can charge these guys. Their catapult's a little too far. Crap. Get out of here. Ah, he's dead. Without their general, our allies may lose heart and that's bad, but you know, it happens. We might lose, whatever. It's unpredictable when you can lose a general, but I didn't get him out in time. Could have predicted that. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Save our catapult. than I lose, but damn, I'm not winning right now. There's only a few troops, though. We were already down and out. They can retreat to the fort at least, I think. Uh, this should be easy. Let's fight this man, you'll need to lose as little as possible. The auto 
Reavers at all. Doesn't favor cavalry, really. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let us pray it remains as such. I don't even want to use these two. I'll move them back. Maybe I can use them for route units later on. Let's charge them. We don't want to lose any of these guys, but if we had to pick one, it's probably uh, the youngest one. Or maybe Hakon wouldn't be that bad, because we'd still probably be able to win. Let's take out their cavalry. They're already kind of weak. Yeah, this isn't working so well for them. They just don't have enough, I don't think. Crap, he's in a little danger, but he's an experienced fighter. Let's give him a chance. Crap. Okay. We have a guard. He's not in too much danger, I don't think. And we are surrounding them. Let's get these peasants. Pull through to the peasants. <laughs> peasants are weak. Uh, general's done. Alright. Now this other cavalry unit's coming back, but now it's too late. Sorry. Sorry, dudes. Let's get as many as we can. Need some experience for our generals. All civilized people will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Alright. Nice job. They deserve nothing less than death. We lose some battles, but damn. This is already a large town, I'm gonna sack it. Okay, Brian, sure. Largest faction, that's us. Okay, so now we are probably number one. At least that's something. Battles lost, six. Battles won, 16. It's not too impressive. Denmark and Holy Roman Empire. Where did they attack me? Did they blockade my port? What happened? Oh no, it's Denmark and Holy Roman Empire. Why did I think that was Denmark? Oh well. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Denmark is weak now. The Empire has moved in. Okay, King Hakon. Gustav. Isn't he dead now? Yeah, I think. Let's see the family tree. Gustav is dead. Sorry for him, but, you know. How did that work? An honor to serve. I... I thought he already died. Maybe... She was just adopted. How did... How did just came into the family, whatever. What? How is... I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at the footage on that one. That was... It sucks losing your family members. I, I'll tell you that. I don't like to do it. But if you do have to, then at least... At least have a lot of regions so you can get some more. What about this? Let's see if we can win a night attack. I think we can win this. Oh, what to do, what to do. The margin for victory, the further we expand, the more troops we're encountering. So the margin of victory is becoming more difficult. Bust down the door. 
Fuck it. All out attack. Send them on the wall. I don't want to send the spearmen, but I kind of feel like I have no choice. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's reorganize this. We're getting shot at. There's not much else we can do. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna do what I want. If that doesn't get in, we'll need someone on the walls. And we'll probably need someone on the walls anyway. Move him up front. The archer's a little bit closer too. Spearman. They're gonna have to go on the walls too, probably. Because we need to fight for that ground. We can't stay on the ground and get shot by the catapult. And if we don't get in the gate, that's where they're gonna try and fight us. On the walls, so... Let's just hope this doesn't get burned down, then maybe we can take on the catapult. But I think we have enough troops for this to work, even if we don't get in with the ram. You guys, uh, yeah, you can shoot. Let's let's move them to about here. See if they get like some weird angle. Okay. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for the fury of the north. Let's send you to fight these up the ladder. You up this ladder. You can easily beat the crossbows. Spear militia is going to be tougher, but I think we'll be able to do it. Don't use fire arrows. Why are they on fire arrows? Once the spear militia clears it out, we can put our archers on the wall to take on the war clerics. Peasants, you can probably fight them right now. Because we don't have much use for them. Go, go, go. Okay, this, this front basically collapsed, except for these spear militia, they're still up. But not for long, I don't think. We're gonna need these guys to try and hold in the middle. Peasants can go attack these war clerics. Everyone else try and disrupt these catapults and the war clerics are right there too. The archers can try and get on the wall. Yeah, you guys try and get on the wall. We need to defeat those war clerics. I don't think anything else we use will be able to do it. They won't be able to get on the wall in time, though, I don't think. It's gonna take too long. It's really gonna be up to our infantry. Melee infantry, I mean. Our peasants and whatnot. The peasants are doing some damage, though, surprisingly, because they're in a good position with support. Peasants can kill Norse war clerics, and that's a good use of peasants. I'll tell you that. in a position they're kind of glitching out right now there's too much too much going on the AI is kind of bad at moving it doesn't really understand how the ladders work too well 
okay, but at least we got most of our guys on the wall. Peasants are doing well. Did he just shoot his own general? He killed some of our guys too. Ugh. Well, it happens. Okay. Everyone just move. Let's go. Let's get in here. We've got them. Don't let them fuck with us anymore. Just win the battle. We got it. They're too tired from having to retreat and all that. Their catapults aren't going to do shit. We've got enough cavalry. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Don't. Ah, oh, crap. That could have been close. Just get these trebuchets and everyone. Our peasants have done such a good job. Bless these guys. 15 left. Peasant archers, too. Nice job. Spearmen. They've done alright, but they lost like half their units and they had a ton. They keep getting shot at. I know everyone but you, you stay here. Get in here and disrupt these trebuchets. Can't keep getting shot. Damn. Get in here. Fuck. no one else in here. Pushed them all out. But, damn, we did take some casualties. 20% of our army. Not great. Didn't want to lay down the clock while we're getting shot like that. Finish them. To the last man. Lost extra two. That, that was suffering. Getting shot like that. Man. Let's ransom them. They won't get to save their troops this time. They should have done that the other time. Just executed them. Learned our lesson. Sack it. He's a little chivalrous, but that's mainly for governing. I still like to sack the settlement with him. He doesn't need much more chivalry. He needs to be making us money. Because he could die. Then what's his chivalry going to do? Hmm. If I don't repair this, I can upgrade it straight to council chambers. The damage is only 2%. It'll save us 8 for but then I won't get the effect of it this turn on, so yeah, let's just fix it. Merchant and a diplomat. Let's hire another merchant. Why not? Lots of avenues to make money right now. Build this. Build the land clearance. That's fine. Uh, we could build land clearance too, but this I think is pretty useful. Gives public order as well. We might need it once these guys leave, which is going to be right now. What is this? Just peasant archers. I'm gonna build a watchtower right here. There's mercenaries uh, here. Hire them next time. We could try and uh, get to this island. That's fair. We can move the same amount of movement. I don't want to send anyone else back there. 
can't hire a boat from our port, but I think the port will still be a trade or something. This guy's gonna be too easy. Let's get the experience. Yeah, to, why don't take this on? I want to get rid of this army once and for all. Rebels, if they're disrupting my shit, cannot be tolerated. Let's build another watchtower. We've got control of the seas, that's what's mattering right now. This, this army is pretty much stranded, but it was a small one anyway. Happens. Let's see. Let's see if we can talk with this captain of the rank. Yeah, we'll talk with him. Talking with the captain's better than with the general. See, they want an alliance too. They're enemies with Denmark. That's good for us. Let's ask for money too. Like, what, 2000? I'll take it. The Kaiser will be most pleased. Thank you for your time. Just useful. Without question, my friend. Tomorrow's journey and race. This cannot be rewarded as you cannot recruit any units. Oh, crap. That sucks. But no matter. We got the money from the deal anyway, so. Yeah, don't rely on the mission helping you out. Make your own fortune. Come on. That's a large army. We don't want to fight that right now, so good. They have an alliance, even if it is temporary. Good to have it. Hmm. We're making lots of money now. That's good. Let's send this... Yeah, let's send this ship to go pick them up. And then we can add the mercenaries to it next turn to protect them. We might have to defeat this army too, because money and all. But then the Danish are losing money too. Let's think about that one. We haven't disbanded any units, really, in this campaign. They've all been put to some use, or been defeated, or whatever. But we haven't disbanded anything. Hold on. That's still our capital. We can... We could probably move it and make some more money. Let's say if it were, like, Homestead or something. That's a little bit more. Let's... Let's keep that for now. That should be fine. What about here? Money, money, money. We don't care about the roads right now because we're not moving troops through. So yeah, it'll only be really big when our economy's great later and the area is completely secure. For now, uh, money. Did I mention we want some money? <laughs> now that we've finally reached a certain breaking point, we've got huge investments to protect. Our military is doing well. And we've conquered lots of territory. This is too strong. These forces are strong. Good thing we took Arhus when we did. And we weakened the Danes for sure. Move them out of the area. We might be better expanding in the east than in the south. And maybe the diplomats we hired will be useful for just bribing. Or maybe we'll find a new place to a strike, like on the coast. So moving in the east with our navy will be useful. We have this army here. What yes. units can't we attack with? We can't attack with that one. But I think if we put it right here, it could come reinforce us. 
Let's see. They have some cavalry. This might be tough, but we've got some decent units. Let's let's give it a shot. We need to save the money and get rid of our massive army and get rid of some of their forces as well. If we can do even even if we lose, if we do some damage, that's good because the Danish have no presence in our territory. We can hire mercenaries next turn to make up for some of the troops who lose, but forcing a battle now will save us money too. We're going to play this defensively. Nobody skirmish. Pretty much just send all of them. Just go. You can stay up here. Stay on guard mode. No flaming shot. Okay, good. Let's move in a little closer with the peasant archers. These guys will run at them. Just go. Even if we get charged a little bit. Our infantry is doing well. Let's guard position. The peasants will hopefully die fighting. We're doing good against their scouts. Getting a good shot at some of their units. Shoot this. That's good. That's good. Wow, we just killed like that entire unit in one shot. We have enough missiles to just really dictate this battle, even without cavalry. Which is good. Don't kill our general. Okay. Shoot these peasant archers. Maybe, I don't know. Might want to shoot those Norse war clerics. They're giving us an opportunity. But, we'll be shooting our own guys a little bit as well. You know what, just shoot at what you want, even if it is dumb. Our forces are doing fine. I think there's plenty for them to shoot. Peasants pretty much died fighting, which is perfect. We didn't need them to do much more than support. Our general is doing just fine. He doesn't really need to do that much. This guy, he can just support the flanks. Move him in. This fight is looking pretty good so far. Shoot these Viking Raiders or something, I don't know. Our men are fighting well. These guys are going to charge something, but it's not going to matter that much, I don't think. Only half the enemy force remains. And through their archers. Okay, the crossbow's going to hurt a little bit. Uh, whatever. We can get more. At some point. The Norse War Clerics are tough to take out, and we're fighting a hell of a lot. Good shooting their routing units. We got them. They're done. Ugh. Well, it happens. I think we did alright. This was an infantry battle. It wasn't perfect. But, you know, we came into it knowing we would lose some stuff. But we efficiently used a lot of our units.
yeah, this is this is going all right. If we didn't have much cavalry, we still won in the field, which is tough. It did cost us some manpower, but it wasn't that bad. Some of our guys are wavering. They still have a considerable force in Lascaros. We're going to need to do something about that. We got these reinforcements too, though. Okay. I'm going to finish those off. I don't even care. This is a slow battle, but. I don't mind playing that way every once in a while. We can beat them, just don't get too enveloped. Okay. These archers are done. We gotta take them out. Just come back. Are mercenaries, dude. Shoot around them, shoot whatever you can. Keep these guys in reserve. We need to get our general back. Get our guys back. These mercenaries aren't doing as much as we need them to. If they get shot, it's only because they're setting us up to shoot all these guys, so it's kind of worth it. Their mercenary troops, their loyalty to us is questionable. We need to use them. The archers, all they do is stand there. We just need them to shoot. That's the best thing we can do with them. We lost a few in the battle, but it wasn't that bad. Run them down. We lost some mercenary troops, we lost the Huskarls, we lost a few Viking Raiders, some we might get back. We lost some peasants, but the peasants fought to the death, that was impressive. The Viking Raiders ran, the peasants fought to the death, so that says something about our deployment. We did pretty well. We had the advantage numbers wise, and we had a general, so probably could have done better, but it was also a field battle with. We didn't have much cavalry. Let's see if we can make money. Yeah, they would have gone to nowhere. I don't think they had anywhere to go to. So they didn't pay us free money, but we're still fine. Get back in there. Defend the city for right now. Because he can't move. The rest of them can move. We're not going to waste the lives of any of our troops, even peasants. See, our. We got 19 peasants back. Which is crazy. I've been playing this all night, I guess. It's been fun, though. Let's see. Let's send this boat to scout. There's a Danish army right here. We can send this boat to bring a force across. We can't move all these infantry. Or any of the infantry, so let's just let's take him off the boat and let's see if we can build a watchtower right here. If they attack him, we might be able to withdraw. There's no other Danish armies here. We might be able to rescue some of our troops. Too experienced spear militia. 
would be worth saving. The catapult would be worth saving if we could retrain these. Hell, I'd take them. We don't want any of our troops dying if we don't need it. We can have very high taxes here with the spearmen here, so it's worth it for a couple turns because we don't want to throw them into battle unnecessarily. Let's merge this. The spearmen gained experience and all our units are experienced except the peasants, but there's not many of them. What else? We've done the construction I think we need to for the turn. So focusing on our other affairs. We have troops, we have coin again. We've kept conquering pretty well. We took a new territory. We defeated another army that was in the area, so they pushed back even more. Our diplomats have moved. We have a new ally. Look at other diplomatic situations. The Teutonic Order is at war with Lithuania, who's allies with Novgorod. Novgorod is allies with Denmark, so maybe they're our enemy. But maybe that's just a convenience thing for them. Poland's at war with the Mongols. Hopefully the Mongols do some damage. So that Poland will be easier if we encounter them. Or they'll be easier for the Holy Roman Empire, who is our ally. So, yeah. A few things to take note of. I think the Teutonic Order's allies with the Holy Roman Empire, so maybe we could be allies with them. Yeah, we'll think about that one. We've moved what we can. This trade resource is worth only 44 now? That's worth 130 now? What? I thought that was worth more. Never mind. What was I doing? We're making lots of money. We'll get to attack these. This army. Ready to trade. Maybe we'll build a watchtower in the north just to keep an eye for rebels. We've got King Hakan watching over his territory. He's got good authority now. I should really end this episode before I end the turn. You know, I think I've done everything I can. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Part whatever is next. Seven or eight.